Welcome back everyone. In this video, we'll talk about this jacket. This American made jacket. Uh, it's, hopefully everybody can see that. It's day one camouflage. I do believe they're out of Colorado, but I posted a picture of this American flag on Instagram in the beginning of January. And I had a lot of feedback on the jacket itself. Everybody liked the fact that it was made in America. A lot of people were intrigued by the camouflage. This is window camo. It's their own camo. I guess he designed, they designed. But this is a bow hunter's jacket. Half zip. Kangaroo pouches with some gloves in it. And it's got a super high collar really high collar but uh, I've known about this company for a long time and in October I decided to buy a jacket I was looking for something a little darker for late season I started hunting some pines and some deep laurel deep dark timber and most of my late season camo was predator vertigo so I wanted something darker and this kind of fit the bill so I'm gonna put it on talk about some of the features Here we go, day one camouflage take two. To get this out of the way right now, 5'10", 175 pounds, 170, depends on scale. The fit is good. Um, the sleeves are tapered for bow hunting. I said this jacket, he's a bow hunter. He designed this jacket for bow hunting. There's a lot of features designed for the bow hunter. Uh, tapered sleeve, there's no Velcro on the jacket. Just a single big button, easy to operate one hand. Um, come down. Well, that's two hands, sorry, but yeah, you get it. Nice cut on the sleeves. The jacket is designed for layering. A little loose, not too loose. Um, loose in the right places. This jacket is buckskin, 100% polyester, and I had the wind blocker sewn in. I think I paid $220 or $240 for the jacket, somewhere around there. Um, took a few weeks to get in, and I'm pretty happy with the jacket. It performed extremely well here for me. It's got a couple of cool features. Rangefinder pockets on each side of you. A little place to put your binos. When I'm hunting out of a saddle, I don't like a chest rig bino harness. Um, so I use the Rick Young bino harness and it's kind of loose and sloppy, um, at least how I wear it. And this kind of actually works pretty well with it. Kangaroo pouch, you know, half zip. Great zipper, not really loud, not too loud. The design, or I say the the actual sewing of this jacket is unbelievable. I mean, some of the best that I've had, be it hunting or, or not hunting related, the guy's a craftsman or the gal, whoever sewed it up. I mean, sewed it up, amazing. The collar, I had a lot of you know uh, comments about the collar. If it got in the way of shooting, it does not. Um, but I guess that's operator, user, dependent. Now I love the high collar. Um, I don't like wearing a big hoodie when I'm hunting. It just gets in the way with the release and everything. Um, this is a well thought out design. Just a wool hat and this high collar. Um, kept me extremely warm. 
Um, I just wear a face mask, a thin face mask, and a small gaiter, a real thin gaiter, and this, and I was extremely warm. Um, I wore a 300 gram, what's that, merino wool uh, hoodie, real thin, and a s small vest, and my puffy and this, and I was hunting in 2018 and about 15 degrees, a couple evening sits, and I was good for about two or three hours. Uh, I don't know anything past that because it got dark. Um, one thing I like about this jacket for saddle hunting is, I don't know if you can see it, it's got, I guess you call, like a slight tail. It's a little bit longer than some of the jackets. The last two jackets I've had, winter time, they're, they get real bunched up and you get some drafts. This thing just kind of covers everything, uh, which keeps me, uh, kept me a lot warm kept me a lot warm or warmer warm kept me warmer there we go um, you know the camo was pretty neat I know he has a few camo patterns you know, predator fall gray I know there's a sat and I think he might have another one and this is called window camo he said it's a uh, it's a great jacket I'm um, kind of regret not buying them 10 years ago when I found out you know I, I should have bought them 10 15 years ago I guess um, yeah, so day one camouflage made in America. Check them out. Just to touch on a few uh, regarding the collar, I know there's a few guys that asked specifically uh, about the collar, so I'll go in depth about the collar a little bit better um, after watching that. I didn't really talk about it too much. Now, collars and peep, it's all operator, user preference, how they shoot with it, don't shoot with it. Um, for me, with the puffy and everything on, I'm, I'm right about here. Um, I never, I've never, I don't hunt like this personally, but I keep my collars on, on any jacket pretty much right here. And when I see deer, I'll personally, you know, just tuck it. And it's a loose collar. There's really no structure to the collar, if you will. It, it moves freely. So, see it does not really impede, kind of lays flat is a good uh, way to put it. You know, I tuck all my collars on this side because of the bowstring, especially when I see a deer, I just tuck them and like I said, it lays flat, does not, you know, there's really not a lot of structure to this collar. There's nothing really impeding it from laying flat. So hopefully that cleans the collar design a little bit better at least how I think it works but yeah there you go high collar pop it up well there you have it my first uh, camera review garment review jacket review whatever um, if you're looking for an American made product a well-built American made product that won't break the bank you know check them out day one camera